Welcome to Atlanta Live. I'm your host, Evangelist Jordan Coletta with JBB Ministries and the Jordan B Band. We are so blessed that you've chosen to join us tonight. We have an amazing show. We have some awesome people to speak with. We have some great music. And I think one of the things that, that tonight we want to focus on is, is just how the Lord is working in our lives. Sometimes we get so busy, it's easy to kind of put that aside and just deal with the busyness, right? But every so often, it's good just to look over our lives and say, you know, do I recognize how the Lord is working within me, within the people around me? And then, what is it the Lord is calling us to? And tonight, we just pray that the Lord showers each of us with his spiritual blessings, with spiritual wealth. And with that, we're going to jump right into our first song, Divine Purpose, and they'll be singing, Child of the King. Y'all, take it away. We want you to know that you are children of the King. Hey, I'm a child. Child of God, and I know it gets hard, but I'ma live right and be pleasing unto God. Yeah, it's a hard knock life, war, wound, battle scars, but gotta fight my fight. I just keep walking toward the light, and it'll work out in the end better than I thought it would. I just endure to the end, cause I know that God is good. Trials and tribulations come, but let's get this understood. Gotta never fail, my faith in Him prevail. Just see, I count it all joy. I got a testimony to tell. I'm a son of the King, joint heir to the throne. I'm always protected, I'm never alone I got the joy of the Lord, the Holy Spirit keeps me strong So that you, you can, can have, have my joy. joy You can't have it, you can't have it You can't have my peace Don't you even think about it You can't have my mind I belong to God only You can't have my time I live and give him all the glory You can't have my joy You can't have it, you can't have it You can't have my peace Don't you even think about it You can't have my mind I belong to God only you Child of the king, true king to represent her when I step, step in the, the ring. ring. It's a man down for the knockout. I don't play, play with, with these demons. demons. Pay attention, baby, because it is not milk season. season. We are only feeding me, but, but it's tender and season. season. Can't try that fence, those foxes too quick. Just sneak up, up and eat ya. If you know better, then do better. I, I know, know the words word. I choose greater. It would be foolish to choose lesser. Every time they don't try to test you, tell, tell him, him give and make your feet where he belongs. belongs. Check ancestry.com, your heir to the throne. throne. I'm a child of the king, that's, that's why, why I sing this song. Say that my mind and my soul is out of your control. Tell them you, you can't, can't have, have my joy. You can't have, you can't have, you, you can't have, have my peace. peace. Don't you even think about it. You can't have my mind. I belong to God only. You can't have my time. I live and give me my power. You can't have my joy. You gotta speak to your situations. You can't have my peace. Don't you hey. even think about it. You, you can't have my mind. Amen, amen, and amen. Divine Purpose, that was absolutely outstanding. And we'll have more music to come. And with that, we get a, a, an opportunity, I think, to speak to just some wonderful, wonderful people. People who are just making such a big difference in 
God's and for God's people. And with that, we get to speak with Quintus and Lakeisha Billings. Thanks for being here tonight. Our pleasure. Wow, it's, it's so nice to get together with you two. I, I am just so blown away by how both of you, I mean, your whole lives full-time revolve around one thing, and that is doing the Lord's work with his people. Amen. 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 I, I'm telling you, I am just so <laughs> blown away by that. And I, and I, and I want to make sure we jump right in because I, okay. I know our audience tonight is going to know about this. Okay. And so, you know, when we were talking earlier, one of the things that really dawned on me is how the things that you guys are doing, they're so purposeful. They're, they really help people. They're practical. They're essential. But, but I thought maybe you guys could share, you know, maybe some of the programs that are going on that you guys orchestrate and execute and how important that is to the community. So can we jump in there? Is that okay? Sure, sure. Great. One of the things that we're doing is we are making sure that we help people. And so that is through our COVID relief fund. Mm. The COVID relief fund is for individuals who are affected by COVID in, in whatever way. Maybe they, they lost their job or uh, maybe they just can't provide whatever way it is, you know, due to COVID. And so we come in and, and we've been able to raise funds to where we will help families, you know, uh, that father who wants to get his integrity back. That's you know, right. we want to make sure that we do that for that family. Um, we do other things where um, we pay people utility bills and things like that for them. That's something that we do on a regular basis wow. every day. You know, we're trying to make sure that we help those with disabilities and mental illness, you know, to be able to cope and give them a sense of, of purpose in, in life, you know, because sometimes those individuals, they feel like they left out and they feel like nobody care. And so we come in and make them feel like, hey, we care if nobody else. Wow. Wow. Um, so I, I want to kind of take that first one. Okay. I'm going to take kind of take each one separately and just for a second. Sure. But thank you for that. So so with the COVID relief work that you guys are doing, if mm -hmm. I understand correctly, you could be someone who lost your job. You could have maintained your job, but things are getting more expensive, just as an example. Mm -hmm. And due to COVID, by the way, and so now you're in a situation where you don't have enough money, you need some a light bill covered, you just need some help or whatever. Mm -hmm. What one of the things you guys do is help support that person with some help here and there to keep them upright. Is, is that yes. is that a good way to think about yes. this? Yes, it is. Yes. Wow. Now, if someone wanted to participate in that, they go to your website, they fill out uh, some yes, information. they will go to uh, peoplechoicepay.com. Um, as I was, we were sharing before, um, this thing started so fast <laughs> until now we're still trying to put things in work so people can fill out everything on, on the website, the applications and things. But when we, when we started, when we started it, 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 we didn't think it would take off as fast as it did. And so now we're trying to catch up <laughs> with with that on on the uh, website thing, but they can still go to uh, People's Choice, P A Y E E dot com, and they can get more information about that. Yeah, I I get that. I mean, the technology sometimes just has to catch up, but yeah. that doesn't keep you. And, and it's, a, it's a credit to you both. It didn't keep you from saying whatever we can get up front, fine. But then we'll fill in the blanks when we talk Correct. with the people, which Correct. is wonderful. Yes. I mean, I would imagine that that is such a critical situation because, you know, it, you're trying, you're doing everything you can. Yes. You're doing everything you can to make ends meet, to keep the family upright, or just yourself, it could just be you. Mm -hmm. um, and to have you guys as a resource is beyond, beyond belief. Amen, yeah. amen. And Jordan, that, can I say something? Sure. Um, we named the COVID relief fund after my aunt. She was an employee of ours. And um, we lost her to COVID. Oh. We and um, her name is Angela Head. So we named the named the Angela Head COVID Relief Fund. You know, so that was just something that we thought we should be able to do. Yeah. You know, in honor of her. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's that's such a blessing. Yeah. No, I was just gonna say that initiative was birthed out of uh, a need uh, for his aunt who really had a hard time and was struggling with COVID. She was in the hospital about eight months. Wow. And uh, God really laid it on his heart to do something and, and to help other people. You know what, the, I could tell, that, that, see, that's the Lord working right up in there because it says, 
it says it, it, it just shows you every aspect of it. It's a blessing for the, the memorial. It's a blessing for the people who are struggling. And at the end of the day, it's a blessing because anyone who participates, I mean, the goal is to get them uprighted so yeah. that they'll be able to be self-sufficient. And right. that little yes. bit could do it. Yes. Right? Because once you fall behind and you have problems, you're, right. you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's like, I'm not sure where that money goes, but it's just like a hole. It just pulls the rest of the money in. It's like, yeah, no, no, can't that's have right. that. That's right. So that's, that's great. Now, I want to go to the second item that you mentioned. Now, I think this is really interesting because I have... I know that generally speaking, it is difficult for a lot of us to manage money, period, right? So the idea that in comes this check, you might get paid once a month, uh, maybe you're on Social Security or whatever. But it's interesting because, you know, when you have that check come in, uh, you know, let's face it, even if you looked and you spread it out the whole month, it seems like there's never enough money to go around, but especially accelerated is here's this check, here's all these needs, but yet if we're too aggressive in how it is spent, something's going to get shorted, and many times that could right, be right. like major things right. like rent, right. Elect, right? I mean, electricity yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. So this idea that you guys have the wherewithals, the, the systems and the ability to work with people and to really create a budget for them electronically so that they really will get their rent paid, they really will get their electric paid. Correct. Right, I mean, is, is that kind of the way it works? Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, we pretty much work through the Social Security Administration. Um, we manage their funds. Um, it's called a payee organization. Okay. And so we would come in and um, work with whatever case management they may have or whoever is advocating for them. And we would come in and we would make an assessment of their bills, make an, make an assessment of their monthly uh, per diem, and we would basically pay their rent for them, your utilities, give them an allowance, you know, again, making them feel like they have a purpose and making them feel like, mm -hmm. you know, someone loved them. So th that's our main goal is to do this. You know, this is our ministry that we do together. You know, putting smiles on people's face is priceless. To see them smile and to see them say thank you and things like that, you know. Um, and so we've been doing it for about 20 years. Wow. And so we just thank God for what he has done and what he continues to do. Yeah, I can see that. You know, what I was thinking about as you were saying that is, you know, I, I know there's many aspects of what you just said, right? There's the interpersonal, yeah. where you guys are, I mean, you're not doing this just through a computer. You're doing this voice to voice, person to person. Yes. To get to the point where you do the allocations means you sat down with the people, their bills, you know, what are you spending your money on? Let's try to organize this. Some people may not really understand where no. that money goes, yeah. right? But then I think what's, what is most important, like what I'm hearing, although I know there's many aspects of this, one of the things I think it, 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 it's a ray of hope that says, yeah, you may not get a lot of money, That's but right. you have enough money to maintain yourself. Correct. You do not need to go to bed tonight worrying are you going to get kicked out of right. your apartment. You're not going to have to worry about how you're going to cover the light bill. You're not going to have to worry about do you have enough money for food. You're not going to have to worry about it because you have enough. I can show you. You have enough, you right? You have enough. It, it's you like, have enough. I mean, presuming they have enough, but I guess in most they, cases, <laughs> they do, right? They have enough. Um, yeah. And we've, you know, a lot of times people think that you need a, a lot of money to be able to do things, mm. you know, but we've shown them that with what you have, you can maintain, and not only maintain, we have shown them that you can thrive. Right. And so our job is to teach them how to thrive with the little that they have, you know, and, and it's a challenge sometimes, but that's what we do. I can see that. Yep. I, I also would think, too, that since you guys are well, ver I mean, 20 years, I mean, you've done yeah. this a long time by the grace of God. And I'm sure over that 20 years, you have determined where there isn't enough money in certain categories, or better yet, in order to preserve the capital so it can spread wider, mm -hmm. you can provide input on things that they might not even think. Like, for instance, they might say, I need to run to the store and pick up X. And your, of course, this is a simplistic one. I know you guys have mm -hmm. much deeper solutions as well. But it'd be like, no, don't run to the store and buy that at the store because guess Correct. what? You're able to go over here and that exact item, you're not going to have to pay for because we've got this other, right, right this other organization that helps people Correct. like your situation. Don't, don't buy that. Correct. that. This way that money can spread over. Oh, I see. Many people, 
wouldn't, they just know they need whatever. Mm -hmm. They need milk, they whatever. It's like, right. no, don't, don't do that. I'm telling you, we, we've got you, right? Yeah, I mean, that's, right. that's invaluable. Yeah. Invaluable. And that's pretty much what we do. Um, so most of the time they adhere to it, but then there are times when they don't. Yeah. And that's fine. You know, um, experience will teach us. Yeah. You know, so once, it, once they find out that, you know, it doesn't happen their way, then usually what they do <laughs> is come back and say, okay, um, I'm going to do it your way. And so, and, and, and that's fine. You know, experience is the best teacher in that situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I can imagine. Yeah. I also know that you guys, I, as at least I think I know, is that when you engage with a family or an individual and they want to be part of this payee program, sometimes they're, they're upside down. So if I understand correctly, you guys will actually intercede with whatever the organizations, whether it's the landlord, whether it's the bank, whether it's the utility company, and you will bring solutions. Correct. To them, can you talk a little bit about that? Right. You want to. You want to talk no, about? Okay. I just don't want to leave you out. No, you're fine. Uh, yeah. Um, a lot of times, what happens is that they will uh, come to us, and they may be behind in their rent, maybe five, six months, and they may be behind on their utility bill for five or six months. Right. And so we would we would talk to the landlord, or we would talk to the utility company, and we would let them know their situation. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, what happened, they will allow us to create a budget plan for them, for them to catch up. And once they catch up, then you know they'll be able to have more month, more funds allocated towards other things. But yeah, we would come in and and talk to them and and, and develop a budget and a plan to help them catch up on those bills on that mortgage. Well, most of them don't have mortgages, but they do have rent that they get behind on, but we'll help sure. them catch up with those things. Mm -hmm. See, uh, that's another great example of hope. When you oh, yeah. think it's hopeless yeah. and you're going, you know, right. you're getting notices, mm -hmm. you, you, don't, you don't know what to do. Yeah. You don't know what to do. And you're saying, I will never have enough money to catch this up. I'm definitely getting evicted. I'm definitely not going to have enough food next month. Correct. I'm definitely not going to have electricity. Correct. Mm -hmm. And you come in and say, no, no, look, look, we, this is what yeah. we, this is what we do, right? right? Correct. And also, you know, I would think too that not all landlords, but many landlords, I think, would probably, if they knew there was some discipline around, around catch it up, yeah. even if it took months and months and months, I would imagine most most landlords would say, "Look, I would rather not have the tenant move out because then I got to change over the place. It's going to cost money. And by the way, the minute they leave, I have no opportunity mm -hmm. to get that Correct. back rent." Where here you're saying, "Look, we can get you caught up. Let me show you. We we can get you caught. We can get these people caught up. They have the ability to catch up." Yeah, yes. and they're willing to work with us, which is great. I would I would think yeah. that's smart too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, because if not, you give it all up as a landlord. Right. Once a person's behind, you're not getting their money back. Correct. You know, I, I, I think, again, most landlords, they would agree to, we would come to terms with an, yes. with an agreement for them to catch up. Yeah, and so it would be in the best interest, really, of, of the landlord and the client. And the you client, I mean? of course. So, yeah. Um, and and more, than, more, more times than not, the landlord will adhere to a catch-up budget. Yeah. Well, you know what? That is like, that, to me, the, you, you are dealing with some of the most personable, personal, excuse me, most personal things of a person's life, very close to almost yes. the. Yes. There, there's a couple other out there that, that are even more personal than this, but really, when I think about what you are doing, you know, pretty much when someone bears their soul, they're showing you how they have not managed well. And... Most people don't ever want to show that, right. but I think most people being honest saying, look, I'd rather, if you're going to help me, I'm thankful that you would help me. I'll share whatever I can and whatever yes. you can do to stabilize me, especially if you can show me how to live within my budget, because I don't want to do this every month. Mm -hmm. Right. Is that a good right. way to think about right. it? Right. That's, that, that's an excellent way to think about it. Yeah. So in a few minutes we have left, I just want to make sure we cover a couple things. You do so, you guys do such great stuff. I know that you guys have, have uh, you have two locations, mm -hmm. Columbus and, and Atlanta. And Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, I know that, that you do something around Thanksgiving. You do some uh, baskets around Thanksgiving. You also do it 
a tur well, turkey drive yeah. and, and, and baskets between Christmas and, and Thanksgiving. Right. Um, but if we have people right now listening, mm -hmm. and I think we do, and they're saying, I love what you are both doing. You're not doing this for your glory. God knows you can make a whole lot more money doing a whole lot of other yes. things. Yes. But that's not what the Lord has called you to. Mm -hmm. But if people tonight sit and saying, you know, I would just love to, I love what you're doing. I want to know more about what you're doing. But also, you know, I want to send some money in because I gather, you know, when there's a need, if you're going to buy stuff, the give stuff, if whatever, I want to give a couple dollars. So if someone was saying it, how do they get in touch with you? How do they engage with you? What's yes. the best way? They, they, would, they can call the office, number one. Uh, but the best way would be to go to peopleschoicepayee.com. Okay. And they would be able to uh, give and be able to donate that way. Um, they can also send um, checks to our address. Okay. And we're at 2302 Park Lake Drive, um, Suite 510, and that's Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Okay. They can send it there. And what's your phone number? Just in case, so we got, we got all the aspects covered. We got the okay. internet covered. We've got your address covered. Mm -hmm. what, what is the phone number in case someone wanted to jot that? I'm going to let my wife give the phone okay. number just well, to give her Well, the phone number some. is uh, for, for our Atlanta location is 404-296-0340. Perfect. Now, you're a 501c3, so yep. people yes. can take advantage of that as giving to a charitable organization. Uh, you're held to standards and things that that people can have confidence, right? right? They could check you out, right? Yes. Right. Which is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, I mean, it, I just want to tell you, I receive the blessing that the blessings wow. that the Lord is bestowing through you too. You guys are selfless. I mean, you're like everything is for God and God's people. Praise God. Praise the Lord. When you said, I, when we talked earlier, y'all said we've been doing the pay e oh, um, program for 20 years. I thought, oh my goodness. That is remarkable. And with that comes a lot of knowledge, a lot of expertise, mm -hmm. and in my book, a lot of help. Yes. Yeah. Yes, most definitely. Thank you. Oh. A lot of help from the Lord. Amen. And, I, and <laughs> I know from spending a little time with you both, I know the reason why this works is because of one thing, and that's because the Lord sits right in the middle of everything, every yes. decision, right. every yeah. decision to make money, dis 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 disbursements, helping people. It's all about how the Lord is working and he wants to bless, bless, bless his Yes, people. yes. Is that a good way? That's to think about it? The most think. excellent way. Amen. <laughs> well, I tell you, it is such a blessing to spend some time with you guys. I, um, I, I just marvel at how you are so committed to, to God's God. flock. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Uh, you're smart people, so I know you don't let stuff get by. You're you're working on behalf of, of your clients. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you call them clients, but it, you, you, the, the, the people come to you. You're working on behalf of the landlords. You're trying to make things work for them. Mm -hmm. You're trying to make it all work out. But at the end of the day, you want God's people fortified. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thanks again Amen. for being here tonight. Thank you, Thank Jordan. you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Our pleasure. You guys are such a blessing. Mm. Wow. So I told you we had a great show. I mean, just just an amazing outpouring of taking care of God's people. And, and when you think about it, I mean, it, sometimes that really takes a lot of work and a lot of commitment. As we heard tonight, these two, they're full in doing God's work. And what a blessing it is. So uh, we get an opportunity to uh, listen to uh, some more music. And what you're going to hear tonight, we have, we have the band which consists of a couple people. So we got a little bit of surprise coming up in just a little bit. But right now, uh, Divine Purpose, who sang the first song, they're going to sing another song, and it's titled Without You. Take it away, y'all. I know I can't live without them. I need them every moment of the day, every second of the day. Come on, come on, let's go. Hey. I don't ever want to live without you. No, never, never, ever. Never be in this world. Without you. Let me make it clear what hey. you mean to me. It's great to see that I love for one another. It's great to be no greater high that I can achieve than to know that I'm walking in my destiny. Let it flow, take my man, who we go. Gotta let the world know what I feel is real. It got the bait in my soul. Truly making me whole while it's making me grow. Transformational, like purified gold. Hey, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I found you today. That I found you. Don't want to stop for me. Like this, come on. 
like that. Come on. Sunshine, of course I'm heated by the warmth of your love inside. Energized, revitalized, mesmerized. You're the connection to my lifeline. Yes, I'm intrigued by the love of a lifetime. He came down from heaven, never hard to find. A free gift like this is one of a kind. You're the only one on my mind. Hey, hey. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. That I found you, Dad. That I found him. Don't want to I like this. Come on. Like that. Come on. Hey. Never, never be in this world without the joy you. of the Lord is my strength. Hey, hey. I'm never on my own. I'm never on my own. Lord said you never leave me alone. He said he'd never leave us alone. Hey, hey. I don't ever want to live without you. No, never, never, ever. Never, never be in this world without you. Hey, I never want to let you go. The love that you feel made me feel so unfadeable. Every day you still love me. You say it's unchangeable. The way that I feel about you, undebatable, no question without you. I'm restless in you, I want to live. Selfless, something different. I want to give if I call on you. You're there in an instant, never distant. You move heaven and earth to give me back persistence. Hey. Alone. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Y'all, oh, that was awesome. Danny and Danielle, you, Thank you Thank guys you. are awesome. I just love, love your vibe. It's amazing. Thank Being you. a musician Thank and songwriter. Who you guys are songwriters? Yes, we're songwriters. You guys singer songwriter. This is awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We we do a uh, a list of a lot of things. So, but music is is like our number one love, other than God, of course. I can tell. I can yeah. tell. But I thought I was uh, just getting a little information as we were, you know, getting together before we got together, and I think it's so amazing. You guys have quite a parallel between you two as you grew up, right? Then you go to like the same school. You, I mean. What were all the parallels? I love oh, that. Oh, man. Yeah, that's yeah. how you know it was God. I mean, we were born in the same state, which is California. We were born in the same month, went to the same high school, which is in Alabama, we graduated <laughs> the same year, uh, and we ended up having twins um, a few years after that. So How amazing, right? And, uh, and one more thing that's so awesome is that our wedding anniversary is tomorrow. We'll oh be married 14 years. <laughs> God bless and you, too. And it's all God's grace and mercy and blessing, you know. And, and thank you for spending it, your pre-anniversary with us here tonight. <laughs> we have it no other man. way. Oh, it's awesome. All right, so real quick, if someone wants to get, to, uh, to get some of your music, get in touch with you for the ministry, have you come out or whatever, how do they do that? Um, the easiest way would be to go to our website. It's divinepurpose.com, and all of our information is on there. Or they can look us up on Facebook under Divine Purpose uh, dot five two six because it's a lot of Divine Purpose out there. Okay. But um, they can find us that way on Instagram. It's Divine Purpose, and our email is the number two Divine Purpose at gmail dot com. Awesome. And not only Thank that, you. our music is sold on all digital platforms. Yes. So. Just look up Divine Purpose, and you should see us there. Good. And we're going to have a surprise coming up for oh, yes. the audience in here, because you all talked about some twins out there. Right, yes, right. Sir. So we're going to see that <laughs> shortly. Well, I, tell, and I know we have some more music to come. I tell you, it is so great having you here. You have just such a fresh sound. You guys you. look great. You guys sound great. Thank what a blessing it you. is. 
Wow. So much. It's a pleasure to be here. So uh, with this time, at this time, I guess we're going to do one more song, and then we'll come back. Okay. And we'll talk about our, or we'll have our get our our secret come out. <laughs> right, right, right. All right. Yeah. So that you got to <laughs> you got to sing, lift him up. Yeah. Lift him up. All right, take lift it away. Up. Blessings to you both. Thanks thank for being you here. So much. Happy thank anniversary. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, we come to lift him up today. We know that praise lift him up. Lift is what him God up. inhabits. Come on, help us lift them up. Lift him hey, up. hey. I love to lift your name. I love to lift your name. I love to give you praise. I love to give you praise. Cause I love that's so strong. Oh man, I'm to you. I thank you for the lamb. I thank you for your grace. Lord, you sacrificed so I could, I could be saved. Lord, I really love you. You're my Prince of Peace, my everything. The air I breathe. Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi El Shaddai, my Lord. Jehovah Jireh, you're my provider. Ghost is friend, wise counselor. You light my path so I can see. You got my feet, protecting me. That's why I love. As soon as you walk in the door, they should know that your hands of course representing them big in the face of the world. Tell me what you doing it for, for your glory, for your fame, or are you doing it for the money? Or trying to pump up your name? You might look at me strange, but my aim is to be a flame. Spark change, ignite the game, life change, the soul save. And I do it all in Jesus' name and magnify the Father. Man, it's such a shame, what are you doing if you don't bother? I pray his name and lift him higher, whether rapping or singing in the choir, my desire. Is the light of fire in your soul so you can try him so won't you try him like i did he's lord of lord and king of kings who can deny him that's why i love to lift your name lord i love to lift your name i love to give you praise lord i love to give you praise cause i love that you're strong oh man come on let's praise him tonight come on say it with us i love to lift your name lord i love to lift your name i love Praise him to the left, 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 now move to the right, move to the right, move to the right, move to the right, fall back with your praise, fall back with your praise, back with your praise, go back with your praise, now lift him up higher, lift him up higher, lift him up higher, lift him up higher. We gotta lift him up higher, higher and higher. We gotta lift him up higher, higher and higher. We gotta lift him up higher, higher and higher. We, higher. we come to lift him up higher. Come on. I love to lift your name. I love to lift your name. I love to give you praise. I love to give you praise. Cause I love that you're strong. Oh man. Come on, let's lift him up. I love to lift your name. Praise Lord, I love to lift, lift your name. Cause I love that you're strong. Oh man, I'm to you. Lift him up, lift him up. Let's lift him up higher. Lift him up, lift him up. Let's lift him up higher. Lift him up, lift him up. Let's lift him up higher. Lift him up, lift him up. We come to lift him up higher. Hey. Welcome to Atlanta Live, I'm Ashley Buddha. We have a very inspirational story for you this evening. 98-year-old Larry Jaffe is a World War II vet who recently produced his first film titled The Girl Who Believes in Miracles. This movie marks a definite career departure for Larry, who spent most of his working years in marketing. 
Both the film and Larry's personal narrative are stories highlighted by miracles. Welcome to Atlanta Live, Larry. Thank you, glad to be here. And I wanted to start and ask if you could give us a brief synopsis of your film. I'd be very happy to. A film, as you know, is called The Girl Who Believes in Miracles. And it's about this 11-year-old girl who has so much faith in God that she attracts Jesus' attention when she uh, actually prays for eight hours uh, after she finds a dead bird wanting to see if, if Jesus would bring that bird back to life. And miracle of miracles, Jesus does that. Now, her brother happens to be, be there and sees it, and uh, she tells her, don't say anything to anybody. But of course, her brother is so amazed by this, he talks to his, his friends at school, and word gets around about this amazing miracle that this young lady has performed. And the parents with children who have ailments like blindness, uh, like, like a severed spine where a boy can't walk anymore, one, someone with a mother with a girl with cancer, they all come and plead to see her, her in front of, when they come in front of her home. And her father comes out, he wants to protect his little girl. He doesn't want this kind of notoriety. He says, please, she's just a little girl. You know, why don't you go home? But, but Sarah, who wants to do good, and that's the message that mm. this movie delivers, empathy, mm -hmm. doing well for others, thinking of others. That's Sarah's attitude. And she comes out, and she goes to various people. Mm -hmm. you know, the little girl who's blind says a prayer, and, and uh, miracle of all miracles, this little girl sees. And they all say, oh, Sarah, you're so wonderful. Sarah says, no, 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 it's not me. It's God who does it. Mm -hmm. And she does that with the boy who, who, who can't walk, with the girl who has cancer. And word gets, gets around, obviously. And her parents are very, very concerned. Mm -hmm. They, they want to protect her. They want to get away from this notoriety. But uh, it can't, it, it, it just can't, can't get that word. You know, these miracles are so astounding mm -hmm. that people keep talking about it. And Sarah becomes very, very famous in the community. Suddenly, she gets sick and she gets a brain tumor and she's dying. And the community just can't understand this. Mm. And it's a, a very, very exciting ending where Sarah ultimately and, and, and Jesus meet again. I don't want to tell. Yeah, we'll stay away from the spoilers. Right, and, and all I can say is that your audience will just love this movie. Mm. There's excitement, there's religion, there's there's belief, there's, there's a, a wonderful uplifting ending. It's the kind of movie we need after the year that we've been through. Right, and I, I was wondering, so this, this movie, as you mentioned, Sarah, the protagonist, it's a beautiful portrayal of this young girl's faith and how she develops her faith. And I was wondering, what was the inspiration behind this film? Very interesting. Uh, one of my partners is, is a scriptwriter, and he has a, a granddaughter who had a very serious heart ailment, so serious that the doctor said, there's nothing we can do about it. She has just about three months to live. Well, the family prayed, and this screenwriter said, God, God, if you save my granddaughter, I'm gonna write a, a film about it. Well, a miracle happened she was, she became well again without any medical help. And of course, my partner fulfilled his promise to God and he wrote the script. Originally, it was called The Mustard Seed. Mm. Those of you who know, uh, Jesus has in, indicated to those with as little faith as a mustard seed mm -hmm. who, who will be able to move mountains. So actually, Sarah hears that 
at a, a, a in, in church. And then that's what inspires her to seek out God and help her create these miracles that she does. Right. And that that's just, that's truly an incredible story that your partner, you know, reached out to God, made a promise to God and said, if, if you do this healing, I will make this film. That's a beautiful, beautiful story. And I was wondering for, for people who watch your movie, what is your hope or prayer for them? What what do you hope or pray that your audience who sees this takes away from the movie? I want them to take away the following messages. First, empathy summarizes factory all the messages, just to think of others. If you have, want to have a meaningful life, you really have to Think of others as well as yourself. The other messages that, uh, that come from this movie as follows. Turn the other cheek. There is a, an antagonist in this movie that's identified early on. He cheats in a soccer game. Now, this soccer cheat also becomes a bully, and he keeps on uh, uh, bullying Sarah's brother. And, and just minutes after he gets to, telling, uh, kidding Sarah's brother about losing so the soccer game to the soccer chief. Uh, a vehicle is coming down and about to run over this antagonist, and Sarah's brother, Danny, risks his own life and rushes out and pushes him away out of, out of the, the, the rushing vehicle. Now, he don't forget, he's doing this minutes after this bully Bull is bullying. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect example of Jesus' wonderful saying, turn the other cheek. Mm -hmm. That's that's a message we want to give. We also want uh, people to recognize that redemption is so, so very important, mm -hmm. that one may stray from God's path, but it's always possible to come back. And we have several instances where people who stray do come back to God's path, we want that message to get across mm -hmm. as well. And those messages that you mentioned of empathy and turning the other cheek and redemption, though, those are applicable to everyone of, of all ages. And now I wanna, I wanna pivot a bit and talk about your personal experiences while producing this film. And I was wondering um, if you had any reservations about taking on this project. Well, no, no reservations. I, I love the script. And uh, you have to realize, you know, you realize that I'm, I'm 98 years old, so I, I didn't get involved with producing on location. I was responsible for putting all the elements together, including raising the money, hiring the, the director, uh, Rich Carell, who ultimately had to produce the movie as well because our producer had an accident, couldn't get to the location. So, and so Rich Carell actually rewrote the script, produced the movie, and directed the movie. And because he was a director, he attracted the stars that are in this movie. Myra uh, Sorvino, who, who, who won an Oscar, uh, Peter Coyote, who, who won an Emmy, uh, uh, Kevin Sorbo, who was the lead in God's Not Dead and in Hercules, all these stars came to this movie because Rich Carell has a reputation of bringing out the best that actors have to produce. Mm -hmm. And actors love to have the freedom to produce what they can do. And I have to tell your audience that the acting is actually superb. They'll mm -hmm. love the acting, and that's really the essence of not, of liking a movie, feeling that it's real, feeling, getting into it, because the actors put you into it. And that's what happens in The, the Girl Who Believes in Miracles. Right, and it really, truly sounds like you had an amazing team surrounding you and an amazing star-studded 
cast. And I was wondering, so this is, this is your first film you, you produced, your, your working career. You were in marketing research, correct? Correct. So this is, your, this is your first film. You took on this new project. I was wondering, what advice would you give to someone who has received a calling later in their life that they may be struggling with, that they're, they're wondering, you know, I, I, I got this calling, but maybe the, the timing feels off. What advice would you give to someone in that situation? I would tell them they're never too old to start something new and to succeed. Right, absolutely. As you have shown all of us, that that is true. Yes. And um, I was wondering, uh, Larry, what's next for you? What's in the works? Well, well no, I'm going to. I love the movie business. Getting after getting into it, and we're looking at another film right now. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it, if, if you don't mind. Uh, if I asked you, what is the uh, latest terrorist attack on, on U.S. soil, or the earliest, I, I'm sorry, the first terrorist attack by a foreign country on U.S. soil. What, what, what would you say? Actually, most people answer 9-11. Mm. But actually, the first foreign terrorist attack on U.S. soil happened in 1916 before we got into World War I, and the Germans blew up a, a munitions transfer depot. Actually, it's located in New York Harbor. Uh, Google describes the explosion that occurred there as being the largest non-nuclear explosion in history, and nobody has heard about it. Well, I won't give you the spoiler. I won't tell you why people don't, haven't heard about it, but we are uh, attempting to to raise the money to produce that movie. That'll be number two. Awesome. So you've already got something else in the pipeline, in the works. And I wanted to just mention that for more information about yourself and your film, people can visit thegirlwhobelievesinmiracles.com. And it is now streaming. And I just wanted to thank you so much, Larry, for joining us this evening and sharing about your personal testimony in your film. And now we're going to check out the trailer. Grandpa, when I found the bird, I prayed. God, you made this poor little guy, so maybe you could help him out. His heart isn't beating, Sarah, and it's dead. Then I saw God standing on the other side of the lake. I always thought that you were kind of special. You see him? Who? God. You saw God and then brought a dead bird back to life. No, I didn't. God did. Where'd you get this? I drew it when I came home tonight. You drew this? Yeah. It just sounds like she has a healthy imagination to me. She would never outright lie. My cat died last week. I was wondering if you could stop by and bring it back to life. Mom, it really was God. Sir, do you think you can help me walk again? I don't know. Could you say a prayer for me? So, tell me what this medical emergency is all about. I moved my toes this morning. I can't explain what, what happened in there. Severed nerves and spinal cord can't be generated. Mom? Oh, baby. God. Oh, I thought he was God. never supposed to walk again. He wasn't. It was Sarah. I keep fighting voices in my mind. It's not healthy affair for other people to pretend that you're actually having conversations with God. I'm not pretending. Sarah Hopkins, a miracle worker. It's about to turn her world upside down. I don't think I can take this much excitement. Yeah, hold on to your hat. There's going to be a lot more of it. Yeah? I think these people want to see Sarah. God, everything Sarah told us was true. I'm just a lucky girl who God decided to visit. The truth is, all you have to do is believe in God and pray to Him. He listened. This mother is just sweeter than chocolate. It's not possible. You're beginning to catch on.
given by God. I tell you, I have blessings right now. That was amazing, y'all. The twins, right? Wow, wow, wow. Little DP, and what a great extension from Divine Purpose, who we'll hear from Divine Pur Purpose as we wrap up the show. But we pray tonight that, that, that you have a, a feeling, an understanding of just how much the Lord loves you and how you see so many things going on in our community where one another, we're taking care of one another in so many different ways. And we pray tonight that the Lord blesses you with so much spiritual wealth, that the Lord bestows upon you just amazing blessings, as we heard little DP. And, and hopefully you were inspired by Ashley's interview of 98-year-old Larry Jaffrey, who starts a whole nother career and, uh, and has just a wonderful movie to inspire all of us. What a blessing. So hopefully those surprises were were, were uh, well received. So with that, we're gonna close up the show with Divine uh, Purpose. They're gonna sing their last song, Trusting You, and with that, blessings to each and every one of you. With that, take it away, y'all. Hey, hey. I have I'm not keeping the right to say the no seed bag of bread. Hey, come on. I done tried all I can, done all I know to do. I tried all you can. And yeah, my all back's you can against do. the wall, but I keep on trusting you. Because I know that you can, know that you will come through. I'm trusting in you. 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 I'm 
make it no matter what you are facing just as long as you are patient you will see your elevation i'm greatness in the making poverty cannot break it you was placed in the hands of god every day i'm thanking god that he grace man no pressure diamonds are the only thing that hates me no pressure no diamonds i'm silent i'm piling divine purpose surfing no clouds we stay with climbing we gonna trust them hey hey i'm trying to I'm trusting them. I'm trusting them. Yeah, my best against the wall, but I keep hey. on trusting you. Hey. You hey. gotta know who you put your trust in. Know that you can, hey. know that you will come through. You're not alone. Hey. I'm trusting you, cause me, yeah. one His one eyes on you. I'm trusting you. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, the storm ain't falling. All you I gotta do is call his name. Hey. He said he'd never and leave you nor forsake you. I'm trusting in you. you. I'm trusting in you. Cause it can fly away I just pray and trust God To make a brighter day I remember back when I was struggling I felt ashamed The only way I made it through Is that I called on his name Foundation Solid Rock That's where I build my faith You can't tell me nothing different I know I'm not the same Keep my mind on the race Staying strong in the faith It don't matter what I face I know it's gonna be okay Cause we gonna trust him Hey, hey I didn't try all I can Done all I know to do I don't know what you're going through tonight yeah, my back's against the wall, hey. but I keep on trusting. But you just keep trusting God. Hey. He gonna I bring know you that you can, know that hey. you will come. Just believe, just believe. You can speak just one word and your peace hey. comes so Hey, strong. all you gotta do is have a faith that will bust the seed. Yeah, the storm ain't falling, hey. the wind's gonna bow to you. Just trust them, keep trusting. And when we say move the mountains, I'm trusting in you. Hey, keep 